just bought our bullet train tickets for tomorrow. Um, We're doing um, here to a little station, I can't remember the name of it. Then we're going from there to Rabbit Island and back to Rabbit Island to that little station and the little station to Kyoto <laughs> and it's yeah. cost £83 per person. Um, we we're going to go to Rabbit Island today but we decided to not so we saved £60 by not doing the journey because we're already going past that same station to go to Kyoto. Yeah. So it felt silly going to that station to come back to go there to like, you know what I mean. So yeah. we're tying it all in tomorrow and making a day of it tomorrow. We're not sure. Well, we did book the extra baggage seats. We're not sure if that was a mistake or not. Um, I personally think it is. If you've only got a suitcase, there's enough room in front of your seat to put it in front of your legs. Yeah. It's if you've got more than like your one suitcase. But then our suitcases barely fit in that space yesterday. But they would have fit in front of us. Probably. It was a lot. We have a lot of leg room. It's, a lo it's like it three is times a lot the of amount room. of leg room that you usually get on a train but, to put your bags yeah. in front of you. But anyway, we'll find out. Um, so yeah, we might have ended up paying more for that ticket than we should have done, but oh well. Oh well, it's still fairly cheap for a long journey. Yeah. Cheaper than England. And faster, so. What are you doing, What are you doing, When we get on the bus, we'll talk about how stressful it was to get here in a minute. On the boat, yeah. So before I tell you how to get here, I'll show you what to do once you're here. They've got this cute little gift shop. Everything rabbit related inside. You don't get your tickets here. You get your tickets over here. On these machines. When you buy rabbit food. I brought three lots of rabbit food because you can never have enough rabbit food. Aww. You can get the train here, but the times are a bit funny. And that's it over there. I'm in the Philippines again. Just everything's a lot more organised. up there being chased off by other birds apparently there's no predators for the rabbits here but we are currently looking at one <laughs> yeah although I think it would only probably take the babies but it's literally being chased away by the other birds here that's so cool though so you may or may not know I love rabbits they have lots only of, a little bit they have lots of bunny rabbits myself they live in a big house I've had 13 all together and I've got four at the minute. And they are my little babies. If you're new here, then, you know, I like rabbits now. I love rabbits now. <laughs> we've already got a plan for our house. We have a garage in the house that we brought. And it's not a garage anymore, it's a rabbit house. <laughs> um, that's for a few years' time. So to get here, we came from Hiroshima. And then we got the bullet train from Hiroshima to... My here, I think it's yeah. pronounced. I can't remember the exact up. name of the port. It it, we'll put the name out, actual name here. No, I'll just get it up. Mahira, I think. Mahira. Miharas. Me Mahara port. Um, then from there, 
you're supposedly meant to get on the train down to the port that's across the way from here, which again, I can't remember the name of. We'll put it here. <laughs> but we probably would have missed the train. Well. We definitely would have missed the train because yeah. we're here on a weekday, on a Monday. We were meant to come yesterday on a Sunday. There's loads more ferries coming to this island on a weekend than what there is during the week. I didn't realize that till now. So it was either get on the 12 o'clock ferry or wait till two o'clock. Well, we're heading to Kyoto after this. We've only got a few hours and taking off two hours would have meant we've only got like an hour here. Um, so we had to quickly get in a taxi, which costs like just over 5,000 yen. So quite a bit more expensive, but it did mean that we made it here for the 12 o'clock ferry because the train was going to get us here at three minutes past 12. So we would have missed the 12 o'clock ferry. Um, so it was worth it in the end, but we are here. But if you go online, search Rabbit Island, there's a website dedicated to it. <laughs> there is bunnies everywhere. There's a website dedicated to it. And on there, you can see all the ferry timetables. Um, Google Maps is actually really accurate when it comes to it. I thought, I thought that um, Google Maps was wrong by saying that there was like a gap for two hours, but no, it was right. <laughs> but no, it was right. There was a gap for two hours. So yeah, Google Maps is really accurate. And then we're going to get the half full ferry back to the port. Get the train back from there to the bullet train port. Sorry, the bullet train, the bullet train station. Stage. And then from the bullet train station to Kyoto by hopefully 10 o'clock tonight. So it's going to be a long day. Um, but going. the actual name of Rabbit Island is called this. Begins with an L. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sure if you said Rabbit Island. If we just said to the taxi driver, Rabbit Island, and I was doing this, and he says, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> and got us to the port in time, so. <laughs> it does smell a bit. Yeah, some of the rabbits aren't really in the best of health, but they are wild, you've got to remember that, so. A couple of them have got overgrown teeth and, and snotty noses. But they're just chilling everywhere. I mean, look at this one. You? They're beautiful. How are you doing? Do you like long stuff? Or is that too hot? They're really friendly, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well then. It reminds me of the red wolf. Like me. bag the food bag says please fill with your please fill your empty bag with wonderful memories and take it home with you oh that's cute it's very cute so the original use for this island was during world war ii it was a poison gas production facility um, and then obviously when the war finished they were told to get rid of all of their gas which meant they had to dispose of 6600 tons of blistering agent and poison gas and you can see all the fire on the walls where they uh, incinerated a lot of it and then you can see a little bunny in front of it and then all across the island you can find well old buildings like this and this is where they had a 12 centimeter artillery cannon. Uh, and there were three different artillery batteries around the island. So this is one of three. So there's something for everyone here. Rabbits <laughs> and guns. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I've got it. Oh, oh, you're not as gentle. Oh. You're not as gentle, bunnies. Ooh. Okay. Not as gentle as confident. Don't matter, does it? They're still smart bunnies. Come on. Come on. Well oh. done, we can get two for that. That little stroke. No? That's my fingy, don't bother that. He's a clever bunny. Hey 
bunny stay stroking is too far. Oh. They're scary, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. Hey. along and then all of a sudden out of nowhere loads of rabbits come up to you. <laughs> I like food please. Three bunnies! Three bunnies! <laughs> no sneezing please bunnies! No sneezing! <laughs> Rabbit Island is definitely a big tick then. Um, now we and need to find our way. Oh yeah, Lauren got a stamp. And now it we need... says about how good bunnies are for you, for your wealth and prosperity. Yeah, and talking with spirits. All scientific and your own information. And success and happiness. Yeah. Um, so now we need to find the train station to take us back to the bullet train station and see if we can change our ticket to an earlier one because got quite a bit of time. We get to earlier. Yeah. The times was wrong. That little shop at the port stores all your baggage. You might have noticed that we had our bags at the start and they're not in the middle. Um, and it's not too expensive. It's about 500 yen for one day, I think, per bag. So, you know, saves lugging it around with you. One of the nicer train stations I've been to. Adorable little room Kyoto. in Kyoto. It's dark outside, but all we can see is pink cherry blossoms everywhere. And I'm so excited for tomorrow because it's going to be pink cherry blossoms everywhere. And our journey here, we've had so many different transfers, but they're all running on time, so it didn't feel like it. No, because we stopped off at Rabbit Island as well. So we literally did bus, bullet train, uh, taxi, taxi, boat, boat, Rabbit boat. Island. Yeah, Rabbit Island, boat. boat. Uh, train, bullet train, bullet train, um, train, subway, 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 yeah, train, and then here. <laughs> so we've done so much travelling today, but we're here. This room is in Kyoto. Obviously, cherry blossom season, most expensive time to be in Kyoto. And this room is sixty pounds per person per night, so about one hundred and twenty pounds per night. Riverside Hotel. Yeah. There's a dehumidifier in here. They've left with the cutest little note in the world. Can't cope with that. Absolutely. Do. Although, where's my name? <laughs> they give you pajamas. There's a fridge. There's a TV. And because we've got a busy day today, we had a long day yesterday. It's uh, bath, pajamas, sleep. Ready for the cherry blossoms tomorrow? They look so pretty. They even give you a lint roller. And a fire extinguisher. <laughs> we love Japan. 
60 pounds each a night, the UK could never. Yeah. Three bunnies. Three bunnies. <laughs> no sneezing, please, bunnies. No sneezing. I need to sort out my phone memory again anyway.